Hi, this is Pennendorf. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Crusader Kings 2, The Old Gods. Fortunately, as we last, le last left off, we were in a bit of a poor spot. And so, uh, I'm going to build up some marshals, or I'm going to appoint uh, some new some new uh, council members and make sure that we finish this war before dealing with the problem which is this heir that is not of our house. Um, I think if I if this queen dies it will switch over to oof and those are betrothed um, but it should switch over to this queen who took Sweden and everything will work out okay I just need to get rid of this little guy which first means finishing the war with his dad slash the person who has me as a concubine and there's another siege done let's head on over to Gwynedd who knows with a little luck maybe we will even pull them out of the dungeon or pull this kid out of the dungeon that would be odd um, and I'm assaulting here in Desmond end this war as quickly as possible and one siege down pulled somebody not going to accept a white peace. Oof. Swedish Civil War just happened. I'm going to accept and join in. Though I don't know that I'm going to do a whole lot. And our troops have been attacked. Of course they have. So I'm going to send these... Well, actually I'm just going to leave these troops there. And they can siege down the rebels against my sister. And another successful siege in Desmond. Plus, continuing to siege over here in Wales. And I'm going to try and take this one down too. There we go. One bit down here over in Wales. And moving these ships over to Desmond so that I can move the retinue across in Ireland and maybe kick out these troops before they take Tyrannosel. And finished up in Desmond. So jumping on to the boats and on to Tyrannosel. Ah, I got there just in time. And naturally the enemy shows back up in Desmond. But them's the brakes. And another successful battle here in Tyrannosel or in Desmond rather, in Ireland. So jumping back on the boats and heading over to Wales, where I can finally assist and assault this holding. And one more to dip go. Eh. So going to assault here. And someone's complaining, let her rot. Our holding in Yulin is under attack. One more to assault. Ah, Foon is now Norse. And yet, we still cannot, I mean, unrelated to that, but we still are unable to force a surrender on this war. It's getting close, at least. And wiping out a few more troops certainly doesn't hurt us. And going to head on up to uh, Oriel. more tiny sieges going on here and there but all too small to actually be of note and we lost our spy master so we're going to appoint a new one well if we really could use a, some better spy masters but let's take a little bit of piety resisting my foul impulses we're holding in Lincoln's under siege but we are starting to siege down one of the enemy last enemy strongholds and grab some old 80 year old peasant, toss her in the dungeons, in the successful siege for Foon. Gonna toss a couple more generals in here and try and help out Sweden. We spent so much time and energy getting this land to the point where it currently was and then lost it. All because of some assassination and intrigue. Mean thumbs the breaks, it's Crusader Kings 2, what do you expect? And of course we only have the two counties currently. 
So that's always fun too. And we just lost our marshal. So we're going to replace him with somebody else. Losing that battle against the uh, rebellious Swedes certainly didn't help our war score, but we've got plenty more troops to help out when we need them. At the moment, just slowly sieging down. And somewhere else has become Norse. A little bit of our land trying to be taken, but what little that is worth. So here we continue to sit and wait and siege as the enemy doesn't do much of anything. Getting a little bit from holding a few prisoners, but this air is going to have to bite it. Not yet. I certainly don't have quite the necessary uh, talents there. Although, let's see, if we send to build a spy network, I will have 25% chance. So I'm going to hold out there for now. No need to call in their counter assassins. Someone's complaining, let them rot. I don't have time for this. I have a war to win. And the siege here in Oriel's going along swimmingly and the rise of the Shia so there is now a schism among the Muslims that will perhaps make them a little less of a threat to the Western world and took a couple pointless uh, prisoners from this siege but it's slowly inching us towards the hundred percent I'm just gonna assault this holding because I have more than enough troops to do so. Now, to go break this siege and destroy their armies, and then on to Desmond. And there we go, retaking it. Huzzah! Almost to the 100%. Will they accept peace? Ah, they will accept peace anyways. There we go. So, I no longer have a husband and my son. I can see if I can assassinate him, and if I'm unsuccessful, I'm just going to go ahead. Wow, all sorts of people tossed in my dungeons. If I'm unsuccessful, I am going to go ahead and toss him in the prisons and kill him that way. But, in the meantime, let us get married. There are no good choices to marry. That's unfortunate. Well then, I don't know what, much what to do about that. But I do know that, there we go, splitting off the non-retinues. Now let's go help out our friends over here in Sweden. In the meantime, new better spy master. No, the same one. But where's our son? In Riki? Where is Riki? Huh. Hmm, it says it's in Gwynedd, so I guess I didn't need to switch that spy master out. Let's see, 26%. Let's give it a shot. Nope, no such luck. So, gonna just imprison. And execute. And that pisses off our vassals, but puts us in a state where we won't be liable to lose if we die. Instead, we will actually have a very useful heir. So, now that that's all taken care of, oh good, more lost prestige and pissed off vassals. Well, is what it is.
and I've got a more interesting war to fight right now than dealing with vassals. But another bit of land is now Norse. And we are going to trick the enemy rebel Swedes into attacking us. So that worked out pretty well. Ha. Huh. Wow, we just imprisoned a whole lot of people. That did work out very well. So let's resiege this bit of land. Oh, somewhere else is now Norse. Gonna free all of this land from the rebels. Someone, someone else is complaining about their dark cell, so let them rot as well. And there we go, taking back all those bits for Sweden. So onward and upward. Hmm, this kid's complaining, let him rot as well. No interest. And I'm going to go ahead and disband the Danish fleet. I don't think I need it anymore. There we go. Helping the Swedes win their wars. Certainly rewarding. And they're assaulting with my troops, which is nice of them. Someone else. Apparently my dungeons are not very friendly. Or maybe I just have tons and tons of prisoners. Some of them for 20 some odd years. Sucks for them. Shouldn't have come and tried to convince us to join your faith. Alright, I found an interesting book. The secret will soon be mine. Let us study the book. And moving on to the next bit. Oh, we gained Scholar. That's nice. It gives us, what, an extra couple learning? That's always a plus. We certainly could use it. As we have, our technology is not growing any too quickly, although I bet it's growing about normal speed. And, ah, oh, that was the problem. So, continuing to lay siege to all these bits of land, and immediately siege them down, or assault them. And they're trying to take bits of Sweden right up until they got beaten up, and thus no longer can do so. This war should be over pretty soon, and my heir will be able to will be back in the place of power. Although I hope that this is a matrilineal marriage she has with this Estonian fellow. But yeah, this guy not a big fan of him. So, not going to treat him very nicely. He kept me as a concubine for a long time. And this siege is going to take a little bit longer. Unfortunate as it is. Then the enemy's trying to take back some more, but... Ah, one of our subjects is converted to the Norse faith. And a new Grand Mayor of the Great Republic of Gwynedd has been elected. One who also doesn't like me, but the man who had me as his concubine has gone extinct. Good. That will teach him not to mess with me. The Viking queens are just as brutal as the, any other Viking. And revolt in Holland, a very large one. That's fun. Actually, it's not particularly fun. It's rather annoying. So I'm going to raise all of these guys. All of these troops. I'll move on down to Yulin. Uh, the troops in Iceland can go home. I'm not going to use them. And grouping up all the troops here in England. So between all of those, hopefully I will have an adequate army to defeat these rebels, because that stack of 9,000 or so is kind of scary. But another population has switched over to Norse. It's excellent. And a princess of Francia has been imprisoned. Attacking the enemy in Holland, that's not going to work out well, and nor did it. But the Siege of Holland is going swimmingly for the rebels, not so much for us. 
That's rather unfortunate. But we're almost done with our siege up here in uh, Sweden. At which point we will help out again in down here near Stockholm and then send this entire army to help defeat the rebels. But Winchester is now part of the Norse faith. And the rebels keep on sieging. There we go. Successful siege in Sweden. So gonna clear through here. Ah, oh, never mind. That end up that rebellion has ended. So we have saved our allies. Which is quite nice of us. But another seer. There we go. He is not a seeress, he is just a seer, but whatever. Gwent is now Norse. And what's in this seer to try and convert Lincoln as well? Which a whole seven percent chance a year. That's not awful, but it's also not great. And I'm gonna just put that one back. Oh, we just lost our chancellor. So going to replace him with this guy for whatever reason. And getting on the boats. Coming on back over to Yulin where we will combine with another navy. And hopefully have enough. The rebel army has shrunk due to their sieges. So hopefully this army will be large enough. Only one way to find out. Onward and upward, good Vikings. We must free the land the rebels are trying to take from us. And someone's complaining. Don't care. Not even a little bit. Oof. That battle did not go our way. That is unfortunate. And so we're going to pick up our retinue army and see if we can't do something about that. Reinforce our army and help out these levies that were not able to get the job done. More complaints about our dungeon. Apparently, it's really not a good dungeon. But here comes the army. Loading them up. And going to attack. Plus, sending the other army to assist. And there we go. That was exactly what we needed. So, gonna keep chasing down the enemy rebels. And we've caught them again. I'm gonna just do as much damage as we can over and over until they surrender. Or we kill their leader. Both of which would be fine with me. And there we go. No more army for them. Gonna re we're going to assault to take back this bit of, bit of land. And I got it. So, enforcing demands. Tossing him in the dungeon. Another war. I will go ahead and join it. Why not? And going to disband all of the non-retinue troops. Then put these, actually, I'll go raid for a little while. Are these guys, oh, they're Norse. Annoying. I won't raid then. I will offer vassalization though, which is an even better choice. That guy's part of mine. This guy, on the other hand, does need some raiding, but I'm not sure I'm going to be bothered to do so. Here, however, I certainly will. And let's see. That's currently at war with Sweden. So yeah, welcome to the family. New province. New county. 
and I'm just looting away bringing in the big bucks and putting someone in our dungeon I do love I do love tossing young children into the dungeon if that's not a Viking thing I don't know what is apparently all oh, the fleet levies that would be the problem yeah I'll send them home they're kinda of pricey for everyone and the looting continues quite successfully bringing in tons of cash and Tomark is now Norse Let's see, our retinues are still far outstripping the the cap. And I'm going to send the Spymaster to Constantinople. As well as sending the steward to collect taxes in Yulin. So we could use the extra cash. In fact, let's go ahead and upgrade Castletown here. And I can't hear castle infrastructure isn't high enough, but I can to castle shipyard, so I guess I'll do that. And the looting continues. Actually, I guess the looting finished there. But now we have another border province to loot. Hooray for us. Noble Customs is starting to spread. And this guy is still part of Scotland. Oof, annoying. On the other hand, once I finally pass on and that is a regular marriage so I am going to do something where is this guy Narva and he's reigning there so new spy master building network and I'm gonna just save up some cash to assassinate this guy because I do not really need another son that isn't part of my dynasty. And a 15 year old's complaining about the dungeons. Wah. Teenagers. Can never please them. Um, let's see. We can raise crown authority, so. Heck, might as well. That way I might be able to get primogenitor at some point. Of course, we'd also need people to actually vote for this. But I uh, joining in on this war too. Gonna let the Swede are going to help the Swedes where I can. Although it would appear that they are kind of gotten in over their heads. We will see, and we will try to do what we can to help. But this is looking rather ugly, actually gonna combine all these armies and then send my retinues to join in after they're done looting. After all, you gotta have your right priorities. Oh my, that is a lot of troops. That is a whole lot of troops. Like, a scary amount of troops. And I'm not sure I'm going to actually be able to beat them, but I will try. Sweden might be kind of SOL at this point. Christ, these numbers. There's just so many troops here. It looks like I'm going to have to raise all of the levies. Well, that one wasn't a helpful levy to raise. But all of these guys can... Head on over. And these can get ready to be picked up uh, by some ships. As can the Brits and the Irish. I'm not going to just roll over here. Also, like to be able to hire some more troops, but don't really have the income to support it. Which is somewhat unfortunate. But it is what it is, I suppose. That should be an adequate navy.
man, these armies are vast, though. I'm not sure what all I can be expected to do against them. Except just try. So Moravian. So that's a Catholic sending in a holy war against Sweden for this bit of Germany. As is this one. So basically just these two bits of land. So even if Sweden loses, they're not losing a ton, but still. It's not something that they want to do, and it's not something I would like them to do. I certainly want them to keep this land because it will be mine sooner or later. Sooner more than later. Unless this massive army keeps stomping on them. In which case, it might be later. I'm going to swing by and pick up the Irish and the Dutch troops. I've improved keep since Zealand, that's nice. And that army's not, or that navy's not quite big enough. So we're going to need to raise some additional ships. Because I did not realize that it would not be big enough. Oh, that would do it. So putting it on here, that should be an adequate number of ships now. Here's another 7,000 troops to join these 3,500. Oh, well first I need to join those navies together. Oof, I'm kind of out of it today. Anyways, now sending them over to assist the Vikings that are holding Sealand. She then, I should say, excuse me, someone did correct me on that issue. And a successful battle. So I might yet turn this around for our Swedish friends. Somewhere else is converted to the Norse faith and lower crown authority. I don't really want to lower crown authority. And in fact, see any useful plots not really but so I'm gonna plot to kill this guy actually this kid's probably the one to well this guy in general is the one to kill but nobody's willing to because apparently he's a pretty cool king and I am not well liked excellent well, then let's try the sun. Maybe that will be a little easier. Um, possibly. She's willing to plot. This chick is willing to as well. Maybe. No, not quite. Oh, crap. Let's get her married. That might make her happier. And this guy might be willing to. Hmm. Gonna need more than that, though, to get, convince him. So, for now, going to wait on it. But we certainly don't need the sun. Alrighty. Oh, well, actually, the chick just disappeared. So, no, that was not a good choice. But, in better news, we now have a very large army here. Which we can use to beat stick the enemy. And thus, that's what I'm going to do. Doomstacks and all of that. I'm going to disband this fleet. And have attacked the enemy. And so, oh, looks like Scotland has gotten involved and is helping us out. That's awfully nice of them. Actually, we have a lot of support. So, actually, in the meantime, I'm going to just clear off some of the more enemy troops in southern Sweden. And then we'll go help in Mecklenburg. And I still want to torture young children. That's kind of an issue. I will resist these foul impulses. 
But again, kind of an issue. I guess I'm possessed, so what can you expect? Ah, and the army's gotten a little bit of reinforcements, which is always nice. This guy, well, once we're at peace, we can see if he might be willing to join in. Oof. I may have to give in to this faction. In the meantime, I'm going to send my spymaster to scheme there, because I'm not going to have the money to assassinate anybody of note at the moment. And Independence Faction. Awesome. Not going to be blackmailed. Screw you guys. Seriously, you guys. Screw you. Don't like them. They're jerks. Getting rid of that fleet. And I'm going to have to finish off these rebels once more. It's always a struggle. But picking a new counselor or a new chancellor I should say at least these battles are going pretty well and oh the Icelandic troops can go home they're still really too far and too small to be worth bringing into a fight but another crushing victory for us here in southern Denmark slash northern Germany and this episode's gone on for quite a time already ah, collected a tithe in Newland, money's good so um, I'm gonna have to stop there for tonight but thanks for watching and we've, we're slowly getting this whole inheritance thing figured out though it is still going very slow so check back soon for more Crusader Kings 2 The Old Gods